up it's a two-point laker lead and yes dallas has another timeout if they want it they're going to come back out and i think they're going to try to go for a three myself because you know they're going to try to get it to Irving, and the attention is going to go to him somebody's going to leave a three-point shooter and they've got a few of them on the floor pinson is in the game for the first time tonight and he's going to throw it in maybe and he calls a timeout boy you have a guy who hasn't played all night, and you give him the basketball to try to get it in. Well, when it's an important inbounds pass, you like to uh, put the ball in the hands of someone very reliable to make good decisions on the inbounds pass. Maybe Jason Kidd feels this is the guy on this team right now. Got to keep all the other shooters yeah. in the receiving standpoint. Kyrie's two 38 game high minutes. To go along with a 38 game high point. Uh-huh. Symmetrical. <laughs> There's a question of whether he was going to perform tonight. Or Did he perform? I'd say he performed 38 points, 38 minutes. So much for a question about the foot. I mean, the guy is just remarkable off the dribble. Got all the weapons. So what do you do with him in a situation where you definitely need a stop? How do you stop that man? Now, Dallas cannot call a timeout to save themselves from an inbound again. They're going to bring Bullock, Irving, Kleba, and Hardaway Jr. out to join Pinson for the Lakers defensively. Gabriel, Reeves, Schroeder, Davis, Vanderbilt. Two-point game. This time they put Irving on the weak side. They'll bring him a screen and bring him to the ball as opposed to they started him on the strong side on the previous inbounds play. They're into their action. Got to get it in. Lakers, a fine Kyrie. Irving with the basketball, with three, with two. Irving, they're going to get a shot away. Kleba, Kleba wins the game. Kleba at the buzzer. As I expected, they're going to spend so much at attention on Kyrie Irving that they're going to leave somebody open for the three. And I mean at the buzzer, it went down. What an effort by the Lakers, but it'll go for naught as Kleba just drains the long ball. Hadn't made any in the game until then. Made it when it counted most. Discipline. Always confirmed a successful three-point basket. It's hard to stay disciplined sometimes, I guess, when you're on the weak side and you want to help out and you can see what's happening here. Kyrie Irving dribbling, dribbling, dribbling. And then the ball goes to outside to Kleba and nothing but bottom. Haven't we seen this before here? Yes, it happened. What, against the Pacers earlier? What a shot by Kleba. And what a find. Exactly. Halliburton, remember, when he found the open man, Kyrie found the open man here. And look at the quick shot by Kleba. He knew. Well, he didn't have a choice. But yeah. He, I mean, the clock was just about out when he got the ball. But quick release, bottom of the net, teammates celebrate. Look at that. You see what it means to this Dallas team here in the final weeks of the season. Mavericks outscored the Lakers 9-3 in the final 248 of the game. Now, this is a game the Lakers should not have lost. Simple as that. They didn't make the right decisions down the stretch, and it cost them. Maxi Kleber, the hero. That'll do it. 111, 110 in a thriller from Crypto.com Arena. Our next telecast is Sunday at 6.30 when the Magic are in town. Pre-games at 5.30. Access Sportsnet Lakers. 